Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. And today we're going to be doing some uh, riblets in the crock pot, okay? So what I have here is some rib pieces that are left over from when we did a cook a few months ago. And we trimmed them down St. Louis style. I keep all of that in the freezer for cooking maybe later. And that's what we're going to be doing here, okay? So we are going to be seasoning these and putting them in the crock pot and getting them prepped and we're gonna see how they come out okay so don't go nowhere we're going to do the short prep work and then we'll have a taste test in about six hours all right guys so we're gonna take our riblets we're gonna put them on our baking sheet here all about rib pieces now you can either buy riblets in the store already or like i said you can save the trimmings from your spare ribs when you cut them down st louis style and use those later on all right so we are going to use worcestershire sauce or watch your sister sauce <laughs> and as a uh, binder we're gonna hit these right quick this is gonna just add another depth of flavor to your riblets like so The only thing, cooking them this way, you're going to miss out on that smoke flavor. I don't like using liquid smoke. I think artificial liquid smoke has a artificial taste, you know, so I don't use it. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video in a couple of weeks on smoking salt. And I know there are several of them out there, but I'm going to smoke my own salt. And I think adding smoked salt to your rub when you're cooking indoors in the oven or in the crock pot, just may add a little bit of that smoke flavor that you're missing by not cooking on the uh, on a smoker, okay? All right, so now that we have our binder on here, this is our rub, okay? And this is just an empty bottle, and I mixed up the rub, and I'll put the rub up here on the screen. And as you can see, it's got brown sugar in it, black pepper, kosher salt. It's got paprika in it, cumin, and a bunch of other flavors, dried mustard. And uh, I this should be enough for the amount of ribs that we have, or riblets that we have. And so all we're gonna do is just coat these well. So we're gonna sprinkle each one of them, make sure they get a, a decent coating of rub. So let me finish this up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we got all of our riblets season and everything and we're going to go ahead and throw these into our crock pot now this is a six quart crock pot so you don't want to fill it up to the top you want to give them room to cook there we go all right so now that we have our riblets in the Crock pot, this is 16 ounces of your favorite barbecue sauce. We're using uh, Sweet Baby Ray's just because I got one of those big two gallon uh, bottles upstairs, okay? So we're gonna pour our barbecue sauce over it and we're gonna reserve a little bit of this for later on, okay? Cover it like so. And I like to kind of Mix them around, make sure the sauce is on everything. It'll spread around while it's cooking in the crock pot for six, from four to six hours. But I just wanna make sure that everything is coated. All right, and we have a little barbecue sauce left for our final piece on this, all right? The last thing I wanna do is hit it with a little bit of beer. Nothing like a little blue moon to give it a little oomph. Not that much. Just a sparkle, just a sprinkle, okay? All right, and we're gonna put the top on it. And there you have it. So we're gonna put this on low for four to six hours. Then we come back, we're gonna put them on a rack and put them under the broiler, and we're gonna have a taste test. And we're gonna see exactly how these crock pot riblets come out. So hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so it's been five hours since our riblets have been in the crock pot and we're going to take them out and put them on this rack mm, they smell good all right 
and see if we can take these out without them falling to pieces. Put them on this bacon rack. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit more sauce on these. And then we're going to take them upstairs and put them in the oven under the broiler for three to five minutes to get them nice and charred. Because like my brother-in-law Ike says, you ain't got real barbecue unless you got some char on it. Like so. All right, so this is a little bit of our reserve barbecue sauce that we had left over from the initial cook. We're just gonna hit these again. All right, that's it. So let's head up to the broiler oven and put that final touch on it and then we'll see what we get. Alright guys, so that ends our cook. We just took them out of the broiler. They were in there for about five minutes just to get a little char on top of them. You can leave them in there a little bit longer if you want to, uh, but I thought five minutes was good, okay? So you saw the close-up of them. They look pretty good. So let's go ahead and have a taste test and see if they're tender and if they're flavorful, okay? And they smell real good. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, these are very good. They're tender. They got a lot of flavor to them. They're tangy. These are really, really good. Now, like I said, for me, they're not as good as if you throw them out on the smoker. You get that authentic smoke flavor and that authentic uh, smoke texture that barbecue gives when it's on the smoker rather than being put in a crock pot. But for crock pot riblets, you can't go wrong with these. Got to get another bite. Wow, these are very, very good. Well, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank uh, my friend Paula Poole for giving us this great LSU uh, crock pot. We're going to be doing plenty of cooks in it. Uh, also, all the ingredients for the rub and everything and the directions will be down in the description block of the video, okay? And like I said, riblets, four to six hours so throw them on early that morning before the big game and they'll be ready that afternoon when you guests arrive okay well that's all we have time for today hey like we always say where there's smoke there's fire and if there's fire then damn it there just might be a barbecue there hey as always hey we'll see you guys around the smoker mm. i'm good really good